But coming up next, it's a super bantamweight contest as America's Jury Sites takes on the Estonian Andra Aho. Ladies and gentlemen, once again from the Foxwoods Resort Casino, we continue on with the next bout of the evening. Please welcome, out of the blue corner, from Thailand, Estonia, please welcome Andra Aho. Not too often you hear about the country of Estonia when it comes to world sports, but they do have a very good Muay Thai program, particularly in the amateurs. They breed a lot of good professionals. Andra Ho, certainly of that pedigree. ISKA European champion, IFMA Royal World Cup silver medalist, Baltic Muay Thai Open gold medalist, Estonian champion. Only started training three years ago, only a two week camp in preparation for this one. First time on American soil for a hoe. Yesterday during our meeting, she looked like she was gonna beat up our producer, Jamie McClintock. Now, very interesting there you see, Pat, Aho went under the ropes. In Thailand, you'll often see the ladies go under the right ropes, while the guys always go over the ropes, never through the ropes. And now, please welcome her opponent out of the red corner from Springfield, Missouri. Give it up for Jerry Fist of Fury Seven-year-old Fists of Fury, Jerry Sides from Springfield, Missouri. She is as tough as they come. Also heavily experienced at 33 and 13, but she's 0-2 in line fight. Pat looking to get her first LF win here tonight. I tell you what, she's so tough. Her last fight, she took a while to get going, lost some rounds, fell behind, and then opened up and just started blasting away. Jerry promises to start faster tonight. And if she does, I tell you what, this girl is exciting. She's uh, just, just a tough, tough lady, Michael. Let's take a look at the tail of the tape for this contest. Jerry Sides has the experience. She is also 15 years the older. Aho is two inches taller. She's got six inches in the yards, and she's got two and a half in the legs. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, once again from the Foxwoods Resort Casino in Mashantucket, Connecticut. Lion Fight Promotions brings you the next bout of the evening, scheduled for five rounds of fighting in the women's super bantamweight division. Your ring referee in charge of the action at the bell is Thomas Sconzo. Fight fans, here we go. Introducing first, fight another blue corner to my left. Standing five feet, seven inches tall, she weighed officially at 120 pounds even. As a professional, her record stands as six wins with one of each, three of her victories coming to you by way of KO. Tonight, she fights in the USA for the very first time. Ladies and gentlemen, from Thailand, Estonia, and in her native town of Estonian, Damit Yat Hedi. Must. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Andra Aho. And introducing her opponent, button across the ring under the red corner to my right. Standing five feet, five inches tall, she weighed in officially at 119 pounds even. As a professional, her record is an impressive one with 46 fights to her credit, including 33 victories against 13 defeats, four of her victories coming to you by way of KO. Join us tonight from Springfield, Missouri, ladies and gentlemen, introducing Jerry. Fists of Fury Sides! In charge, Tom Sconzo. 
Tom Sconzo with the final instructions here. What a moment for Jerry Seitz. Can she finally get a win on well, Lion Fight? Downstairs, obey my commands at all times. In case of a knockdown, go to the neutral corner until I tell you otherwise. Protect yourselves at all times. Have a great fight. Touch them up. Set for five rounds of action. This one at Super Bantamweight. Jerry Seitz and Andra Ho. The removal of the Moncon happening in the corner of Aho. Her trainer places it on the corner post. And we are ready for the US versus Estonia here at Lion Fight 35. First time for Aho on American soil. Ready, ready, fight! Sides opens up well here, Pat. She's got that extensive boxing background and, and a lot of professional fights in boxing, so definitely uh, a lot of punches coming out of her. High kick. Outside leg kick. The Estonian in the goal. Sides catching counter. Went downstairs, swept the leg. Beautifully done from tough Jerry Sides. A ho with the outside leg. Got to get a little bit more power behind that, a ho. Jerry needs to step inside here, turn this into a boxing match. High right roundhouse kick. The Estonian looking technically very sound. Don't know if she matches Jerry's sights for power, though. Very muscular legs. Oh, oh head kick wow. to a ho. And she felt that one. That stung her. Andra Ho needs to keep that right hand up. It's a very good start to the round from Jerry Sides. She said she was going to start fast. She's keeping her promise. Front kick from Sides. Head kick there. A Ho with the elbow. Misses with the right hand, gets tagged with a back fist. Little cheek to the quads there from the Estonian. Ever since that head kick landed, Aho has uh, slowed down her pace a little bit. A oh, beautiful jab too from Sites. Went to the body, then went to the head. Aho on the back foot here. Jerry's got a lot of power with the punches. Clinch and elbow, beautifully done. Rakes it across the forehead and again from Aho. Trying to lop sights his left ear off. Both ladies tangled in the corner. Knee guard from the Estonian. And referee Sconzo breaks them. What do you think the game plan is here of Aho against the boxer pack? Stay on the outside. Oh, she cut Jerry with the with the elbow, buddy. Um, she wanted to stay on the outside, use her kicks a lot, and then when Jerry came inside with punches, she wanted to clinch her up, which she's done that already. Those elbows proving effective here in the first round. Usually you don't see them open up to a lot later, but Andrews put a cut right between the eyes of Seitz. Seitz got to load up, try and get her out of there now just in case. But Jerry's had so many professional boxing matches and kickboxing matches. I really don't think he's a Tell you what, though, Pat, with all these elbows coming from Andra Ho, Jerry's going to have to keep those hands up because that's a pretty decent cut as the blood's running down her nose. Right. Stop. Let us know your thoughts on Twitter at Chevello Voice at Arkra at Pat Militich. Boy, if you look at the pictures of the two girls, two ladies, you uh, wouldn't know who won the round. In my mind, I felt Jerry won that first round. Nice head kick there. She snaked it up over the top. And then nice setup. Goes for the sweep low, doesn't work, and sets it up to throw that spinning back fist. And there's that elbow cutting through. That's the first elbow you want to throw, generally, in my mind, is that straight up and down elbow. It goes between the gloves of your opponent. Then you can start throwing arcing elbows. See, the danger here, Pat, for Jury Sides is that she likes to get in close range of box. And when you're in boxing range in Muay Thai, and you're fighting someone who's got elbows like a hoe, then you can get into trouble. And she's taller. She can clinch her up. 
And she's got those and long, lean, bony arms, makes the, the point of the elbow very sharp. Yeah, the spurs. She's perfectly are, built as an elbow fighter. Women's elbows are generally, like I say, the, the elbows are much pointier. The spurs are, are sharper and they'll slice you up. Can I say, her corner did the most terrible job of cleaning blood off the face I've ever seen. It's all over her face here. Oh, another head kick though, Mike. Early good start again from Sykes. She was trying to bully a home from the opening bell. And let's see if the Estonian can get on the inside of those gloves and slice with those elbows again. Jerry's fired up. Downward elbow. Now, I was told they were technically illegal here in Masha and Tucket, but the referee lets it go on. Yeah, that was a hacking 12 to 6, wasn't it? Of course, in Muay Thai, 12 to Perfectly 6. Perfectly legal. Perfectly legal. And there it is, 12 to 6 again. Now, referee doesn't want a hoe on that one. Let's it go going, so maybe they're allowing them tonight, Pax. Or maybe he knows real Muay Thai rules and is well, just saying, I'm just going to let it go, period. If it's going to be real Muay Thai, let's do real Muay Thai. That's how it should be. Right. And it's not like, you know, the 12 to 6 elbows in the MMA are dangerous because you're on top of your right. opponent, say, mounted or cross sides and bringing an elbow straight down into their face. You know, you can put an eye out like that. They're hacking down more on top of the head in, in Muay Thai. Spinning back fist from sides. The Estonian with a tip to the left. Sites trying to keep her in the corner here. Oh, a cracking work there from Jerry Sites. Chance for the knees. Aho puts the knee guard on. Jerry landing elbows in here. Beautiful dump from Jerry Sites. Textbook execution from her, and she wipes away the blood. And and says hi to a couple of girls in the front row. <laughs> Uppercut from Sykes. A hoe on the back foot. Beautiful tape kick from Sykes. Oh, another. Andrew Aho just rakes the elbow across the bridge of the nose. Sykes is going to be careful with back elbow here. That's what I was thinking was coming, to be yep. honest with you, Michael. Good call, buddy. I don't think Aho saw the opening, but it was there off a little back elbow. Outside lead kick. 17 years the younger, Andrew Aho. From Estonia. You know, there's a lack of information on Muay Thai in Estonia, Pat, with our note maker puts on there, Estonians invented Skype. <laughs> yeah. She actually told us. She did? Yep. There you go. Head kick from Sykes, spinning back fist, head kick again. Beautiful combination work from Jerry Sykes. Yeah, doing great work. Wiping the blood off her face. Oh, jab, smack, bang to a hose kisser. Oh, nice. And again with the right hand. Blood all over the face of Jerry Sykes. She looks like a horror story, but she won that round. Yeah, they got to get that closed up. Got to put some adrenaline in there and seal that up. So give me another. There, I think he's putting some adrenaline in it. Jerry just staying busy, spinning, whirling dervish coming at her that time. There's a beautiful little short elbow across the jaw, working in tight. Jerry also doing a good job of covering the gap against the taller girl. Second jump. Second jump. Let's go. 10 9 2 rounds for Jerry Sites. The Estonian out of her corner first. Plenty of work for a hoe to do. They still didn't clean the blood off Jerry's head. No, terrible job. Stop, stop, stop. Give me time. I have the doctor look at it because of it. Yeah. Oh, he's going to make him clean it up more. Okay. I'm good. I'm good. Oh, no, you know what? No, you got too many. Oh, no, doctor's going to stop it. Okay, this, you know what, if you start to, it comes on your eyes, you're going to stop the fight, okay? Fine. Are there two cuts there, Pat? Is it a cross and a... It's, an, it's an X, it's more of an explosion cut um, instead of a slicing cut.
It is a target for Aho to go after though. And she does. Beautiful jab too from the Estonian. And Sykes powers back. You know, and Jerry's telling the doctor, I can see fine. There's not a problem with that. You know, that's important. And if she's saying she can see, and obviously demonstrating in the last round, she can see fine. Okay, let's get a run in a host corner. She's got to keep her hands up and throw more elbow, elbows, plain and simple, Michael. Fence run, indeed. The elbows are what are doing the trick here for the Estonian Andrew Ho. They clinch up. No, Sykes backs out. Wisely done. She hit her with a good elbow that time. It's a painted target. And Andrew's going to go after it. Oh, and she rakes the elbow across the forehead. Jerry's got to get to work and get her finished. I think she's got a new cut, Michael. Oh, and again, uh, blood all over Ho's elbow. All over her right elbow, it's blood. And it's Sykes' as blood. Oh. oh, the big kibosh from Sykes. And Sykes is bleeding. She's a horror show. Blood running down her face. Aho is, Aho is very tired, Michael. She can see. Look at her. Sykes is blood all over Aho's arm, all over her top. Doctor may call it here. I hope not, but he may. He doesn't like the sight of blood. Let's listen. Fighting. Yeah, I'm good. What do you want to do? I'm good, man. Come on. She's like, I'm a, I'm come on, talk. It's my time. Let it go. Let her go. This is the last one. Oh, well. Jerry's going to go for the finish, Mike. She goes for the finish, so she keeps her distance packed. Stays out of the elbow range. The doctor said this is the last round. Knees from Sykes. She's got to finish. And you know that a hoe is going to go after that cut. What a war. What a battle. Jerry Sykes. Oh, uh, she turned up. She tagged with a spinning hook kick. Jerry's pulling out all the weapons to try and finish her. This is a great performance from Fists of Fury. Jerry Sight digs to the bread basket. Watch out for the elbow here. Aho puts a knee guard on. Sykes tries for an elbow of her own. Double elbow from the Estonian. Sykes keeps her pressed in the corner. Ladies are going to war. Great work from the referee to keep that clinch going. And he wipes off a hose gloves. Oh, beautiful combination again from Sykes. Jerry's trying so hard to finish this fight. She's on a wall path. Her corner's yelling 30 seconds, let's go. Gotta get her out. Jerry Sykes on a wall path. 30 seconds to go in the third round. Then the corner can go to work on that cut. Oh no, come on. What is wrong with that ref? 30 seconds to go, referee scones up, and you stop it? You leave it up to the doctor to do that in that, that is situation. terrible. You stop it? There was nothing impeding her nothing fighting in her ability. Eyes. Look there, there is nothing in her eyes there. The referee chose to stop it. 30 seconds on the clock, hands a hoe, a victory. That is terrible. And Jerry was dominating the fight, besides those cuts. Oh, my. Bad call from referee Sconzo. Did he bother to check how much time was left? Did he bother to look at one of the two big screens in the arena showing the time, knowing that in 30 seconds it would go to the corner and she could get treatment? He, he no. did not have a choice. There is blood everywhere in your eyes. It's called more time. She could see fine. What are That's you the using? Thing. Do you have adrenaline? Yeah. Okay. He's saying, what are you using? If you have used a Q-tip, at least you can hold it down. Uh, you have a Q-tip? But yeah. if you can dip it, then you can hold it down. So the, the corner man needs a, the corner man needs a Q-tip with adrenaline on it and, and applied pressure. That's you know something that needs to be being done to shut that bleeding down. Oh, well, Pat, isn't that corner man 101 really? I know that. Yeah. You know, that's corner right. man 101. You're Jerry, knowing that the clock is against her here knowing the doctor wants to stop the fight and just trying to do all the work she can, taking every weapon out of her arsenal, out of her toolbox and using it on a hoe. Jerry Sides can feel very hard done by here. This is not ballet, this is not synchronized swimming, this is Muay Thai. Right, people get cut. And where's Jerry the, can where's see the blood fine. in her eye there? Where Jerry is the blood fine. in her eye? You tell me. Terrible call from the referee. The, now, Michael, I'm going to be dead honest. Uh, they wouldn't have stopped that fight if it were men. No, they wouldn't. 
they it would not have stopped that fight. They probably would wouldn't have stopped that fight anywhere else in the world either, Pat. Right. Nowhere. Right. And I've seen far worse cuts than that. Far, far worse cuts than that. Credit to this girl. Credit to her home. She's been handed a victory, though. The elbows were superb from yeah. the young Estonian. She is one to watch, but she was gifted a victory. That's the way she was going to have to win this fight. This one calls for a rematch. I hope Scott Kent listens and calls a rematch on this one. Jerry Sites producing and the round of her life. Andra, Andra had great technique also. Oh, fantastic technique. Yeah. No doubting the skill set on the Estonian. But Jerry Sites was having the round of her life in a 40, what is it, 46 fight career. A lot of work. And you call the it off on an experienced lady that like that with 30 right. seconds to go in the round. Right. One, two, two, but both are very deep. Absolute fever. I don't think the referee okay. is going to like you. Pat, let's go to Ron now. Ron's got an, uh, an update from referee Sconzo. Yeah, Michael, I just talked to Tom Sconzo and asked him why did he stop the fight. He said the cut just was way too deep. He was concerned that she couldn't see, and that's why he stepped in to stop the fight. I asked him, did you know there was only 20 seconds left? And and he didn't really answer that. But uh, yeah. that's why he stopped the fight. She Michael. could see, obviously, <laughs> she was landing everything she threw. And both eyes were wide open, Pat. And if you're that worried, you know what? Stop it. Give her a standing eight count. Ask her if she's OK. And then continue the fight. Right. All right. Here, come Just the, the worst possible option the referee yeah, could have done, and he took that way out. Don't rub any of the front. I got it stopped. Well, it, you know what? He's erring on the side of caution. I understand that. You know, you're the referee. Everything can fall on you if something bad happens. But let's go to Sonny Franco. Ladies and gentlemen, the end comes. Two minutes, 35 seconds of round number three. Referee Tom Sconzo puts a stop to this contest, declaring your winner by TKO, Andra Aho. And there it is, the Estonian gets the victory to the boos and cheers of the crowd. She is now seven and one. Sight is 33 and 14, and Ron's with Aho. Andre Aho, what a fight this was. You were in some trouble, and then the referee stops this fight with less than 30 seconds to go. Your thoughts on, on how this fight was progressing, and then the stoppage. Actually, it was really rough for me, because it's 5 a.m. In, in Estonia, and Cherry is really, really good fighter. Absolutely, she's tough as nails. Were you surprised? that the referee stepped in and stopped that fight when he did. Yeah, I was surprised, but there was a lot of blood, so. True, true. Congratulations, your first time here in the US and you leave with a victory. Yeah, thank you. All right, I'm gonna try to get uh, Jerry Seitz here now. And the fans here in Connecticut appreciate the effort, that's for sure. Jerry Seitz, your reaction to uh, this fight and the referee stopping it so late? I know, I know, it's, it's Muay Thai though, you know, we bleed. We bruise, we bleed, we fight, we live. You know, I was ready to go, I was completely lucid, I was feeling fine. You know, uh, of course she's a tough opponent, man, she's great, kudos to her. Coming overseas and all the way from Estonia to come here to fight, man. I, I can't ask for anything better than that, I just wish they would have let it go the distance, but you know. They gotta make their calls, they gotta be safe. But that, man, I'm fine. He was worried that your sight was impaired at that point, was it? The, uh, the, the last round that was, I had him wipe my eyes and then I was fine. I could see just fine, I could see your face. I know where to put my fists, I know where to put my feet. <laughs> well, I'm gonna let you go and get some work on that cut. Look at that one, boys. Jerry Seitz, uh, great performance. So, Mike and Pat, back upstairs. Thank you, Ron. Terrific important performance indeed from Jerry Seitz. Had the round of her life and it was cut short by 32 seconds.